Jones, but that's where I'm from. Well, um, it was Lil Snoop, he gave that part to himself. Okay. Uh, his nickname, Snoop, his godmother gave it to him because his dad nickname is Charlie Brown. Okay, okay. So, you know, I was just thinking like, Snoopy just was too corny <laughs> for okay. me. So we wasn't gonna do Snoopy and she was like, just call him Snoop. Okay. You know, so we Snoop just stuck with him. Once he started, you know, getting older, um, he was a part of a group that, you know, they kicked him out of the group pretty much. And so I told him, hey, you know, you sound good by yourself. We can just start buying pieces of equipment and make a studio at the house if that's what you really want to do. I was just trying to keep him out of trouble. What up, Moro? Moro, what up? What up? What up? Yeah. Yeah. I beat the little Snoop. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Meek Mill, and my first time with Lil Snoop, I remember leaving out of a college and. Louisiana when I was leaving out at Gramlin State and he had a um he had a little concert so I mean I got him one of my demos like I you know what I'm saying got him one of my demos while he was leaving there was a lot of people banging on my window but it was one young kid he had a hoodie on he had his hoodie on and he was just banging on my window but he was calm doing it I was trying to like we went out he was in the van you know what I'm saying they were finna pull off and I went and knocked on the van of the window yeah I told my homie like get his CD and when we rode off we played the CD on the jet uh, he was spending so much uh, pain. He was from the south with a flow of an East Coast guy, like with that bounce flow all over the place. Ain't no games. We ain't about no fucking action. Though. We need that money right now. I be about that action. God damn. God damn. Nigga, for real. I'm going to chill out when I get a hundred mil. Next time I seen Lil Snoop, he said he jumped off the Greyhound 32 hours to Philly. I'm like, come on, you rocking with us, youngie. My artists and the Soren Jackson artists, they end up battling that night. It's my name. Women call me Rush. These fellas call me Rush. Gone stupid. Shout out to the ones who thought that I was next. He only hard on the phone. I call it phone sex. Fly nigga in the booth. It's my bird's nest. Tell him what you gonna do with that 10,000 and all that. When I get that 10 racks, nigga, we gonna hit the mall and just ball like Kobe and Papa Sao. How we get it, I get it my first. Like, while you were doing homework, we were trying to get that work right. Uh, the next day, so Jay, he had his artist. I'm like, yo, Snoop, if you win, I'm going to let you get this 10 stacks. Snoop went in, you heard me, and he went right to the He went with the jeweler, spent the, he bought the iPhone and spent 8000 on some bullshit jewelry. I'm like, Snoop, don't get that right there. He said, man, I got to shine, me. I want to shine like Bootsy. Ain't no stars from John. I don't, I don't know no stars from John Burrow around that area. So, you know, he was going to be like... You know, Boots in Louisiana, you know, like, it's going to be crazy. He's going gonna, gonna, gonna to spread everywhere. And they know he had that talent. And our top story this evening, local up-and-coming rapper Lil Snoop is being laid to rest in his hometown of Jonesboro. Family and friends are still mourning the loss of the 18-year-old Darian Ross. As far as I knew, you know, I got a call that, you know, my son was dead and that Tony Holden had killed him. And an arrest has been made in the shooting death of the Jackson Parish native. The body of the young rapper, Darian Ross, was found in Winfield. I remember going to the funeral home, so I was made to walk to his body bag by myself, you know, and just kind of just examine him. And it was just crazy because it really just wasn't no blood on him. I just remember that as well. In the casket, he ain't even had no blood in him. If he was just a kid with a dream. And he just wanted to get out of here, and that's all, you know, that's all it is to it. Okay, so what's important is that I learned that, you know, my cousins knew this dude yeah. was going to try to get his, uh, go to Philly on me. Like, they knew that. But nobody told me this, so now they want to tell me their story on they was telling Snoop, like, you better not try that. It's not going to work. So when they woke up to see that he actually made it there, they was like, this boy really went and did what he said he was going to do because they just tried to discourage him the whole time. Like, man, you can't go pulling up on that man like that. You better not. And Snoop did it anyway. So I learned those stories in the back oh. end of that. Friends of 18-year-old Adarian Ross say he was a small-town kid with big-time dreams. And fellow rappers say Ross, known as Lil Snoop, was on his way to stardom. There was a clarity in the details of his narrative that you could tell came from actual real-life experience. For everything we talk about, positive, and everything we know, like another mother had to see that too and still do what they did. 
And that's how I know monsters exist. Even when Snoop died, I used to be looking like he was ahead of his time or something. Like he was too advanced for this world. Like the way he was rapping, the way he carried himself. We used to look at him like he was an alien, the way he was rapping, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, people from where our culture, where we come from, when they see you doing better, it'd be like they try like extra harder to plot against you. I don't know what it is, but it get different. We just come to show support and love, you know what I'm saying, to Lil, when Lil was a fool, he did his thing, you hear me? But many knew Ross before the fame. He was a real laid back person to be around. Like he always liked to crack jokes his whole life. A day full of emotion as people say goodbye to the young artist. I feel like you take a child's like a child's life. It was precious, and, you know, and it's, it hurt that we had to, you know, that we have to bury him today. Like you took a you took away a friend, a son, and an icon to a lot of people. Whether they called him Lil Snoop or just a Darian, many say he was a rising star they'll not soon forget. He really could spit, you know what I'm saying? And he was talking that talk that I could really relate to and I could feel. So, you know, that's what, that's what I speak. So I seen that in him. You know, I seen hungriness, you know, I seen potential. Police believe an argument over a video game turned violent. Winfield police have 36-year-old Tony Holden in custody. His picture is coming up. He's accused in the shooting death of Jonesboro native Adarian Ross. He's now facing a first-degree murder charge, armed robbery charges as well. Holden is also accused of illegal possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. The suspect turned himself into police this past Tuesday. Ross died from two bullet wounds to the torso. Right now, it's not, it's not unsolved, it's still open. Number one, Tony Holden did not kill Snoop. It was Edric Stewart. That's the number one fact of all things. I'm not saying Tony Holden is innocent. His bullet just didn't kill Snoop. So, you know, the case is still open. I thank God for that because they did close his case and totally ignore his life, you know. So I'm thankful that his case is now reopened and Edric Stewart will be convicted. They killed Lil Snoop in his own city. And they wonder why I'm being in my own city. What's up with it? I'm E. Edge of story, person who again kills my Snoop mom that I killed him, but I didn't do it. He was a bishop to Snoop. That's what he was, bishop. Call him Juice. That's what he was. Right. Remember me, Miss Porter? I'm Roland Bishop. Yes, Roland. Thanks for coming. You don't have to thank me for that. I mean, my aim was one of my best friends. She said some shit like, uh, he played bishop or some shit like that. Like, what the? There's anything I can do, just let me know. Everybody that know me know that ain't me. Like, if I fuck with a nigga, I fuck with him to the T. Like, I ain't gonna fake like I don't fuck with a nigga. I'm gonna let you know, like. You know, I can say that before it's how it went down. It's every day. Okay. Judah started it all. You know, Judah in the Bible betrayed Jesus. So, what can, what can we say? That's every day. Mm. Yeah, you're right, man. Yo, Bishop, man, give me the piece. No. No? What the hell you mean no? Give me the gun. I mean, I'm holding on to this, so I say so. I'm not playing. Oh, really? Stop this! Man! Juice, stop this! Man, stop this! Stop this! I ain't killed him like shit. The corner report said he got hit with a 40 caliber gun. Because they hired a can of 380 kill him. Talk me a listen, watch who you kick it with. He was a, he, he defied the odds. Chasing after green guys. Green. Went from sleeping on the porch to a motherfucking California king size. Mama ain't stressing, she know that it's all good. My number one goal is to get out the hood. I think the little nigga come from really like nothing and really had, like really had it going for herself. Like this ain't never happened to nobody in John, but not come from this small motherfucker. He wanted people to know where John bro was located, like where he came from. What's your name? You got to sign this one. You got no problem. You got no problem. You got no problem. You got no problem. You got no You got no problem. 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 You got no how he finds you? I mean, situations. It was like, um, well, it's crazy if I, if I really, you know. 
it's like the gift and the curse because you have so many that root for you, but then at the same time you have some that that just don't want to see you happy for shit, man. And I just hate that shit happen to him, man, because I was a good little kid, man. It just give you good energy. It make you smile and laugh when you see him. That was just him. And he always would be rapping. But shot everybody f***ing out there who is ready for this life who just ain't had that opportunity out there drink, yeah. Just yeah. keep grinding, man. Yeah. This shit gonna happen, man. I was really amazed that, uh, that a young person at his age uh, could be so determined. I know what Snoop prayed for. I know what Snoop wanted out of his life. And so for that, I cannot be angry. I cannot be nothing but proud. He told me that there was going to be a day where the whole world knew his name. Winfield police say Lil Snoop was shot twice in the chest and died at the scene. They say the motive is still not clear. As we get more information, I think it'll be more clear as to what that motive might have been. Uh, the, the altercation, what happened? <sighs> That's what I don't know. Like, I don't know the real truth because the, the older person told me that basically him and Snoop was playing the game in that the little friend that Snoop had with him, the guy that actually murdered him because it's not his friend, he kept clutching. He had a gun that he kept clutching. So the older guy told me that that raised a flag for him. Like, what are you doing? In the span of just a couple of hours, the crime scene has turned into a memorial where people are bringing flowers, cards, and candles. We had a discussion about Snoop's headstone. Snoop does not have a headstone due to my personal reasons. Me as a mother is just some steps when you take taking this journey. It's just hard sometimes. And what I never wanted to accept is that Snoop is dead. And the hardest thing is to realize that he is never coming back. Lil Snoop, Lil Snoop, Lil Snoop. Free rock. I'm on, nigga. Rest the peace, cool. Rest the peace, EG. I want to thank D-Lo, man. I want to thank C-9, man. Them boys had faith in me. God is good, for real. I'm on, nigga. That's all I can say. Free my daddy straight up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Salute to everybody who saluted me.